from the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's the Q covering Splunk.com 2016. Brought to you by Splunk. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and John Walls. Okay, welcome back, everyone. We are here live in Orlando, Florida for Splunk.com 2016. It's the seventh annual conference for their customers and company event. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We brought to the events to instruct the city of noise. In our seventh year, I'm John Furrier with my co-host John Wall. Seven years, seven to CUBE, and, and, and Splunk. And, and now we have Josh Rogers with us, who's the CEO of SingSort, who's been in the business almost 50 years. So we're covering quite a time span the here. The combined knowledge here yeah, is 150 incredible. years. We should Splunk it. Off the charts, and, and almost your first year as CEO, so congratulations right. on that. I'm Thanks. sure it's been quite an eventful year for you yes. in many respects. For sure. Yeah. First off, let's just, I mean, I'm kind of curious, 50 years. Yeah. Lots gone on then, right? That's about, uh, you know, it's in dog years, I don't know how many that is. Yes. But, but just the differences, you think, of how your, your uh, environment's evolved and how the company's had to evolve with it. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, you see the, you know, rapid transformation of, you know, hardware and software and what becomes possible. And so people are just tackling much bigger issues. And what we're trying to do is make sure that we take our original DNA and, and where we've been able to provide unique value and, and make sure we point it at these new markets. And obviously big data is, uh, is a big focus for us now. And that's where we think you know, our ability to transform data at scale and deliver that in a usable way continues to be relevant. It's just we need to deliver it to new systems. And so that's what we're focused on. So what are you doing with Splunk then? What, yeah. uh, what, how, are, how are the two of you measuring? Sure. So you know, this, this started about two and a half, three years ago. We actually met Splunk at, a, at another big data conference. And they had made significant progress in the enterprise. And the enterprises, not the large enterprises or their customers, not surprisingly, wanted to move mainframe log data into Splunk environments to be able to complete the view of their IT operations and security posture. And Splunk didn't have a great sense of how to do that. The mainframe has been around for a long time. It, it stores data differently, it manages data differently. Has and a different the big shops model. too. It's the mainframes are in all the top. Correct. Fortune 10, Fortune 100. All companies. your top banks, all your top telcos, all your top healthcare organizations still leverage the mainframe. And so, uh, and so we we partner with Splunk to build a real-time forwarder that we call Iron Stream. And that product is now you know widely deployed at the largest enterprises in the world. And we're helping those organizations complete the picture uh, of, of their IT operations, their IT service intelligence, and their security. It's funny how the world becomes full circle with the word data processing was a term back in the mainframe. Data processing, data-driven companies, data processing. Right. Um, and so like, look at Glass House, the data centers, now the cloud, right? right. Glass House was the data center, now it's the cloud. So, you know, you're seeing that big iron yeah. mentality, but distributed. Right. The cloud is a mainframe. Right, yeah. Conceptually. Yeah. Unlimited yeah. compute. So big iron, big data. This is a trend that we're going to be teasing out on, certainly on the Wikibon research, but what does that mean to you guys? Yeah. So from, from our perspective, we, we believe that mainframes will continue to play a critical role in large enterprise computing for, for decades to come. You know, it's, a, it's an I.O. supercomputer and there's no platform that's better to run high volume transactional workloads. Um, that, that, that combined with the fact that there's 40, 50 years of business process that's been baked into these applications makes it very difficult for these large financial institutions and telcos to move off of that environment. Having said that, they are looking for ways to kind of redistribute the spend and the workloads such that they can put you know, various workloads on the best platform. In analytics, you know, people are now leveraging new infrastructures. They're leveraging Splunk, they're leveraging Hadoop, they're leveraging um, you know, MongoDB. And so what we see happening is that customers are, with mainframes, are, are create, they're facing a challenge of how do I take the, the core data assets that are being created through my transactional workloads and move those into these next generation analytic environments. And, and when you look at the market, you see a lot of big data vendors that have terrific capabilities, but they don't have a lot of mainframe expertise. And you see mainframe organizations that, you know, vendors that, that actually don't have a lot of big data kind of um, understanding, nor do they necessarily have the incentive to help kind of bridge that gap. We call that challenge the big iron to big data challenge. And, and it's, it's Im imperative for these large organizations to incorporate their core transactional data in these new systems. What are the key, they need help what are the key drivers, Josh? Take a minute to talk about the key drivers. Is it because uh, the apps are single-threaded or mainframe-specific, or 
is it because now you can add Splunk in there to offload it's, so, some capabilities? So if you think about what's happening with the big data environments, I can now ask bigger questions across broader sets of data. What, what that doesn't mean, though, is I don't need my core reference data. So if I'm bringing in IoT data and I'm bringing in web log data to understand user behavior, I still need to bring in my customer transactional data. And because of the unique characteristics of the mainframe and the fact that I now want to move my most sensitive data into this open source platform or Splunk, I need to make sure I do that in a way that's controlled, that's cost effective, that's secure. And that takes a significant amount of knowledge, not only about the big data repository, but also about the mainframe. And SingSort uniquely provides that set of expertise and technology. We call that problem Big Iron to Big Data. And actually have worked with Wikibon, who does the best sizing from a market perspective of big data, to help us size that submarket. And we believe that it is a submarket. What size are we talking about now? How big? So if you think about the big data software market, Wikibon sizes it at about $8 billion, growing at about 20%. So a very big and growing market. If you think about the mainframe infrastructure software market, it's about $20 billion. So it's actually about twice the size of the big data market, but not growing, effectively flat. We believe there's an intersection of the two. And, and Wikibon says that that intersection is about a billion dollars today, that kind of integration of mainframe and big data technologies, but growing at 25%. So actually growing a little faster than the big data market. And that's where, frankly, we intend to lead the market. And we're already leading the market with products like IronStream and DMXH, and the use cases we're delivering with customers. I mean, it's like the classic line extension concept where you have a position which you're dominating in, and then you've been go, you go into areas where you can create value right. off the data and the asset. That's right. And then that's where the analytics comes in. Absolutely, and, and, and it turns out it's a hard problem. You know, we had a, an insurance customer that was looking to drive compliance around how their application developers were, were um, using application data in test cycles, and they wanted to make sure they weren't violating any sort of PII. Well, that turns out to be a pretty difficult challenge, but with the combination of IronStream and Splunk, we're able to build them not only a security, but a compliance app that can show these are how your developers are accessing data and making sure that you're in line with your policies. And the customers don't have to buy much into it. They can pick and choose where Splunk makes sense for them vis-a-vis right. -vis the mainframe or assets for sync stores. Is that right? right? Yeah, they, they were already using Splunk. They knew they had certain log records that, that showed who was using which data sets. They just wanted to grab those log records and move them into Splunk. And they need to do that in a secure way and an efficient way so they didn't you know, spike their mainframe price. Yeah, there's so much movement, as you know, uh, merger, acquisition. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You've been busy, yes. too. You had, yeah. you had a big pickup uh, about a month ago. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so we acquired uh, a company uh, based in the UK called Cogito. Uh, they focus on IDMS and DB2 performance tools. IDMS is a, a an old database that uh, was incredibly important in its time and is still incredibly important in a number of shops. DB2 is the you know, de facto standard relational database for mainframe. Um, and, and their performance tools are helpful for our customers. So we have a large set of mainframe customers that are always looking to control costs, and one of the ways to do that is to optimize performance and efficiency, particularly for your relational data workloads. But having IDMS and DB2 skills is incredibly valuable for our organization as we deliver, seek to deliver enhancements to our big iron to big data strategy. If, you know, and why you, is that, I mean, what, what, what's the combination create? All those what? transactions that get, hand, that get um, processed on the mainframe, they get stored in DB2. And so if I'm, in, if I'm running, a, if I have a Hadoop cluster, and I'm looking to figure out how do I move all of my DB2 tables into Hadoop, having some DB2 experts, expertise in house is incredibly helpful. It also turns out that DB2 throws off a lot of logs. You can understand a lot about what's happening in your business based on the logs of the DB2. If I have expertise that understand the logs, I can make those available to solutions like IronStream and Splunk to better you know, run that environment. So these acquisitions, this is our third, you know, are, are really powerful in helping us deepen our expertise to solve this big iron to big data challenge, but they, but they also you know, give us additional products we can sell to our you know, traditional customers. Well, it's more than connecting the data, so big iron to big data makes sense if I buy that 100%. But the nuance here is the value of the data that's moving between the environments. Right. You're enabling big data with big iron. Right. Okay, check. Yep. The value, what's the impact to the customer? So, we have an insurance customer uh, on the Hadoop side that is uh, that offers discounts for uh, good drivers in their auto insurance business. And they use a, a piece of hardware that tracks your driving history and that IoT data stream comes back to a Hadoop cluster. So that's great. But 
for them to actually produce the models that say, how much should I charge you? How much should the discount be? They need your claims history. They need your premium history. That is all stored and DB, as DB2 tables in the mainframe. So if they can't take that mainframe data asset and combine it with this new IoT data asset, they can't actually drive the business outcome they're looking for. And that's the connection that we make. So the next step for you guys, what's next? You connect all the environments. You like Switzerland, right? I mean, well, is that the strategy? We're, we're very focused on building real and deep partnerships with our big data partners. And Splunk is a perfect example. So, you know, we, we've had IronStream in the market for about, you know, coming up on two years. And it moves, you know, the broadest set of mainframe log data, of which there are several hundred, into Splunk. And that's great, and that's a great capability. But Splunk continues to advance its offering, and, and, and you've seen these uh, application add-ons they've come out to come to market with enterprise security and IT service intelligence. Well, if you're an IronStream customer and you're a Splunk customer and you want to understand the, the health of various services in your environment, you can leverage Splunk's, IT, uh, they call it ITSI, IT service intelligence app. Wouldn't it be great if someone was out there to map all of the mainframe logs into the ITSI data model? And that's what we've done. So this, we actually have, are, are announcing this week support for ITSI. We've already announced support for, um, for enterprise security. And so as an IronStream customer, not only do you get the ability to move this log data in, but you get the ability to make it immediately useful in the context of the capabilities that Splunk's already delivered to. So that's key to our strategy, is to deliver additional enhancements that deepen our relationship and the value that customers can get from their investments in big data technologies. In the final minute that we have, take a, take a minute to explain to the people watching how they engage with SyncSort, why should they buy you, why, why should I work with you, and, and when? Yeah. So look, we believe that every enterprise is going to have to make significant investments in big data technologies to drive the analytics they need to stay competitive. And when they go to make those investments, they're going to have to kind of address this big iron to big data challenge. And it's not easy, and there are not a lot of vendors that have both the technology and the expertise to help solve it, and the conviction. SyncSort is the leader in the big iron to big data market. We will continue to be, and we'll continue to partner with our customers to solve you know, a growing number of use cases to help them chart that path. Josh Rogers, CEO of SyncSort. Big iron to big data. If you got a mainframe, check out SyncSort. Um, great to see you. You guys have been a CUBE alumni for so many years, I can't even count. And combined experience here is over 290 years. That sounded <laughs> good. I think with Leonard too, you know. <laughs> You're watching theCUBE. We're live in Orlando, Florida for Splunk's .com 2016, seventh annual user <laughs> conference. All at the cloud. It's all about big data. It's all about using data in real time. Big iron to big data. We'll be right back with more after this short break.